Good morning. At least it's morning for me where I'm recording right now. <laughs> Today started off a little bit different. It wasn't bad or anything like that, but it started off very early. Wasn't expecting it to. Right now it is about 6 a.m. I have been up, oh, well, I've been awake since about 3. I, I woke up in a start. Um, I was laying there dreaming about our water hoses. I know, weird thing to dream about, right? Well, what it was is I kept dreaming that I needed to take care of the water hose spigots on the outside of the house. Tonight, we had our more first serious freeze of sort. The temperatures were supposed to go down to 26 to 28 overnight. And last, well, yesterday I had planned on going outside and taking care of disconnecting the water hose, draining those lines, and then shutting off the valve that runs just to our water hose, our water hoses on the outside of our house. I had installed that last spring to make sure we had a way to shut those off, and I had installed the um, frost-free valves to give us extra protection on that. But still, you need to make sure that you disconnect the hoses, you drain all that out, otherwise you have a risk of that freezing, and if that freezes and bursts, then water can come back into your home, and you, know, you can have a high water bill, damage from all of that, and so forth. I'm kind of paranoid about that sort of thing. Um, try to be very careful about it. Well, so in the middle of the night, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. Of course, I've been dreaming about it woke up with that big start like oh no and I'm like well I'll check the temperature <laughs> I'm sure it's fine it's probably not that low I looked at the temperature and it had gone down to 28 I'm like eh, it's it's probably good there's there's still heat close to the house you know it's the first evening that it's really gotten cold enough to be a problem you know a lot of times things don't freeze hard yet and I just kinda kept rationalizing all these things in my mind because I did not want to get up <laughs> I didn't want to deal with any of it but I laid there and I realized you know what I can't go back to sleep I'm not gonna have peace about it I don't want to risk the water lines busting or having damage or something all that because I was too lazy to get up and deal with it um, the other factor is, is where one of the lines run in our basement that kind of runs right over top of my husband's computer area for both his computer he uses for fun and his work computer. And I'm like, oh, that would be really, really horrible if something happened to that. So we don't want that. You know, like, eh, eh, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Well, I'm not going to have peace. Um, basically, the suck it up buttercup, go downstairs, deal with it. So I came on down, the cats were looking at me, and they're like, really, really, you need to do this? But, <laughs> yeah, when you really annoy your cats, that's, that, that, I don't know, that's different. <laughs> the, uh, the stuff got done, though, I went outside, I, I, got, I had to get a footstool, and then the valve I needed to get to in the basement was partially blocked, so I was running into hurdles, but I got it done. And honestly, in the grand scheme of things, by the time I got downstairs, it probably took me two, ten minutes shut off the valve, go outside, disconnect the hoses and drain the lines and then put the little valve covers on it. Not a big deal, right? So I could have peace about it. And of course the inherent problem is I've gone outside in the cold and you know played with cold water and all that so I was pretty awake by that point. And I'm like okay I've got a couple choices. I can either get something done or I can go ahead and go on try to lay back down and go to bed and I'm like I might as well just stay up. So it's 6 a.m. and I've done some dishes and cleaned them, cleaned up some stuff in the kitchen and made some to-do lists and a few other things. So that's a start on the day. I'll take it. I imagine here soon I'll probably need to make some coffee because the sleepies will really hit me. But I wanted to record a video, not just to tell you about the silly reason I'm awake early, but I was thinking about it and I'm um, just kind of like, you know, I think I could take this and go two choices with this. I could be upset, irritated, and cranky about it, or I can see the lesson in it. And I think there is a lesson in it. And I think the lesson is, if God is not letting you have peace about something, maybe you need to deal with that. Um, and maybe it's for your own good. 
Now grant you, it's very possible our frost-free valves would have protected us and nothing would have happened had I laid there in bed. But it's also quite possible that, you know, it had only gone down to 28, it was supposed to go down to 26, and it's supposed to sustain that for several hours. It's also quite possible the stuff could have froze, caused major damage, caused a big water bill, and damaged my husband's work computer, which would be terrible, right? So, maybe waking me up at 3 a.m. and not letting me have peace, not letting me get back to sleep, was also God's way of protecting me from much bigger problems. And I appreciate that. And I can have those two choices. I can get mad about it or I can appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to choose to appreciate it and be thankful that I managed to get up, deal with the problem, and prevent what could have been, you know, an ugly scenario. One that I certainly wouldn't want to deal with. Minor in the grand scheme of life, but still do not want to have that happen. So, I don't know. I just seen the little lesson in it and I'm like, you know, you've got your two choices to deal with it or not and be happy about it or not and realize instead of getting mad at God, be thankful that he wouldn't let you get by with something or wouldn't let you be lazy or just wouldn't give you the peace that you wanted. You may really, really want the peace in that moment. You may really want the sleep in that moment. But sometimes he's keeping you up at night for reasons, or sometimes he won't let you have peace on the topic. Maybe it's because we need to talk to him about it, pray about it, um, any number of things. Maybe there's something he needs us to do, like me getting up to go deal with the water shutoff valve and the water hoses and whatnot. I don't know. What's the thing in your life maybe not giving you peace if there is something? And if there isn't something right now, I guarantee you at some point there will be. We all go through that once in a while. Um, always remember his plan is greater than our own and we need to be listen, listening, we need to be sensitive to the spirit and be willing to take an action even if it's uncomfortable, you know, like going outside at 3 a.m. in the cold when you really, really don't want to. Sometimes we have to do hard things that we're just not really wanting to do, but in the end, we're like, oh, okay, that's taken care of. It, again, it can simply just be turning something over to God and saying, you know what, I'm putting this in your hands because I can't deal with it. And that alone is, oh, it's taken care of. It's a peace. It's something I am not dealing with. I can't fix this. And if there is something I can do, go ahead and do it. Knock it out. And then you're like, okay, I've done all I can do. I've done my part. And it is what it is. The outcome is now in God's hands. So whatever your thing is that's maybe not giving you peace, do what you can do. Take care of the issue. If there is something that you can do to direct the outcome and everything else you leave in God's hands, you put it in his hands. And I think you do need to talk to him. You don't just ignore it, <laughs> but you talk to him. You turn it over to him and you put it in his hands so you can have that burden off of you. Um, I think he wants us to do that. So I hope you guys have a very blessed day and I hope this video finds you well. And I think that's it. Have a blessed one. Bye.